Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. This is year seven of the 17 Verses podcast. I'm your host, Maher Haq. In this podcast, we take a small selection from the Quran every day and recite it to you in plain English, so you can get a small slice of God's word while you go about your day. By averaging 17 verses per day, we're able to break the Quran down into manageable pieces and finish it in one year. If you enjoyed the podcast, please help spread the word. Tell your friends and family, subscribe in Apple Podcasts or Stitcher or wherever you get your podcasts, and write us a review. Show notes and a transcript can be found at 17verses.com. That's the numbers 17verses.com. Today's selection concludes Surah 83, Al-Muttafifin, or The Dealers in Fraud, verses 18 through 36. These verses talk of the rewards in store for the righteous and how the disbelievers may laugh today, but a day will come when they will be the ones laughed at. Tafsir for this selection explains the wine and drinks spoken of in verses 25 through 28. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. But surely the record of the righteous is in Iliyin. And what will explain to you what the Iliyin is? This is a written book attested by those who are nearest to Allah, that is, the angels. Surely the righteous will be in bliss, reclining on soft couches, looking all around, and you will recognize in their faces the brightness of bliss. Their thirst will be quenched with the choicest sealed wine, and the seal will be of musk. Those who wish to excel above others, let them endeavor to excel in this. That wine shall have a mixture of tasneem, a spring at which those nearest to Allah will drink. During their life on earth, the culprits used to mock at the believers and wink at one another as they passed them by. When they returned to their own people, they returned jesting. And when they saw the believers, they used to say, These are the people who have surely gone astray, although they had not been sent as guardians over them. On that day, the believers shall be laughing at the unbelievers, as they recline on couches and gaze at them, saying, Have not the unbelievers been fully rewarded for what they used to do? Amin. Now, on the wine and drinks mentioned in verses 25 through 28, quote, The wine will be of the utmost purity and flavor, so precious that it will be protected with a seal and the seal itself will be of the costly material of musk, which is most highly esteemed in the East for its perfume. Perhaps a better interpretation of the word seal is to take it as implying the full effect of the drink. Just as a seal closes a document, so the seal of the drink will be the final effect of the delicious perfume and flavor of musk, heightening the enjoyment and helping in the digestion. Next, the word tasneem literally indicates height, fullness, and opulence. Here it is the name of a heavenly fountain, whose drink is superior to that of the purest wine. It is the nectar drunk by those nearest to Allah, the highest in spiritual dignity. But a flavor of it will be given to all according to their spiritual capacity. Unquote. Thank you. This concludes today's episode of the 17 Verses Podcast. I hope that this selection helps increase your understanding of the Holy Quran just a little bit. If you like the podcast, you can subscribe in iTunes or Stitcher and write us a review. Or you can grab the RSS feed and put it into your own podcast app. The show notes, including the text version of this episode, can be found by going to 17verses.com. That's the numbers 17-V-E-R-S-E-S dot com. Thank you, and be well.